All right, in the video, I'm digging a ditch and I'm using this on the stick out there, as you'll see it, but I really don't explain it real well in the cab because the sound's not that great in the cab. But when you're looking at it up here, this is gonna be whether you're plumb with an excavator, because the excavator, your stick's going out and back like this. Uh, you change it when you're on the dozer to tilt, because you're gonna be tilting the blade on the dozer like this. But in this video, see the green light in the middle it means I'm plumb. I say I'm, like I'm extending the bucket out, fixing the dig again, it goes away. I'm coming back in digging the ditch, and I get to plumb again. That light comes on. And the yellow is flashing saying I'm too high. And you see it going down there, and there's all three. So you can see the difference. You got a full yellow, then it, the minute it goes, decreases the lights, then you get the on grade. So that's plum and on grade. Three across, one green up there. This is sensitivity on the grade, and you've got sensitivity on your stick or on the dozer blade up here. Um, if you want to see what the dozer blade looks like, hold those two buttons in. Now, all right, now you got tilt on the dozer blade, low sensitivity. So see, you're even on grade. So when you tilt your dozer blade over, it's telling you you're off to the left and you're getting real close and then there's even. So that's what the machine is and it reads 360. So the laser can be anywhere around and it's gonna pick up the signal. So it worked really well. I've done two projects with this. Um, the one you're seeing in this video is the first one, but and I set a stake out in the field where I wanted to come out even, where I wanted this drainage dish to come back to natural grade, and I was within a, a quarter, half inch of the grade when I got out there, so it's very accurate. And this is a Top Con uh, LSB100 series. This is actually a 110 LSB110. It did good. Thank y'all. Out here shooting a few grades, looking at the next project. Uh, I'm using a Topcon RL H5A. I like it. It's it's nice. Um, if you can see out here in the pasture, you see this weed line, the drain area, going toward the pond. And on the other side of the road, you see the weed area, and it's holding water uh, during the winter time. And he's playing a ryegrass field, and so he's losing this grazing area out here due to water. So we're going to come in this area, right about the center of this drain line, put a culvert, clean out the ditches, probably back up to that gate, and try to capture that water, let it come down here also. All right, I'm out here on the drainage project. Got a cover brought in, got the trico over here. This is a 10 inch cover.
That's just gravel. I'm going to put in these holes around here. So there's one big hole right there. Small one right there. I'm going to run over this some of the excavator, kind of pack it down. Tomorrow I'll do the ditches. Got to see what he wants to do with this dirt. Be some good topsoil or something. So I just took the blade and graded this grass off, pushed it up there. We'll move it over later. Water drained down to a cover here. And uh, I've got set up. Got a one foot slope. My pole on. I'm uh, level. I got medium sensitivity. So I can raise the sensitivity. And then I'm right on the beam. So this is my first time using it, so we're going to see, I don't know if I got everything just right or not.
Alright, so everything turned down pretty good, except I got off up there. It's curved down through here, but this was an existing drain coming through here, so I was kind of trying to stay on that drain. I got off up there and I got a little crook, but in the cow pasture, it really don't matter. Um, there's my stake that I'd set to come out at zero. And you see, I'm mighty, mighty close right there. Coming out. I think I'm just a little, just a touch high um, right in there. But that water will come on out. So I got to move the dirt up. Go put it over here on the right somewhere. He can use it to fill in holes with. I'm gonna push this loose back from the edge and probably just let it go at that because the cows just go trump on it. He's gonna be disking. It's gonna get pushed down. It'll end up being a a little drain that looks like it was just naturally there one day because they'll all get all filled in uh, between the cows and everything else. So, alrighty. Right there, I'm plumb, but I'm a little high. <clears throat> Excuse me, a little high. But that ain't very much high. I ain't got my bucket flat. I'm very close right there. So it worked out good. Proud of it. When I come back, I straighten my whole uh, trench up just a little bit. I got so excited using the new toy, and I just got off may straighten it a little bit more right down that edge that curve but i got way off wasn't paying attention easy to do when i say it's cow pasture is really not that big a deal but you try to do good um what i did set up the the receiver on the excavator i put the stick shot the grade in the bottom of this culvert and I wanted a one foot drop so I went down the field until I found that elevation one foot below the bottom of this pipe that's where that stob is and um, so I wanted to drop one foot so I went down on the rod with a laser beam 12 inches one foot and that set my slope and you can kind of see the dirt kind of dwindles down a little bit as you go because so I was digging shallower and then when I got down there about the stake I come out about even I'm a little bit little bit high like quarter half an inch um, but it done good swim back out where I dug the ditch the other day i'm on 45 of these edges get this dirt up we're gonna stockpile the dirt somewhere over here maybe carry it <clears throat> excuse me carry a little bit more over here where the washout is by the culvert and uh be done we got a little dirt over there to get but shouldn't be too long <clears throat> but i'm just taking the blade and going down the side here and uh just kind of cutting the slope on it. It's not really a 45.
They said, that does pretty good. He can come and get the dirt out of the way when they're coming across. He's still gonna have a uh, ditch there, of course, but he won't be so much of a sharp edge if they riding across it with a side by side or a vehicle or anything. You shouldn't hurt anything. Uh, they gonna be able to see it better anyway. Know it's there. All right, well, I'm gonna probably make one more pass down each side kind of get the ledge off a little more and that'll be about it. Alright, we're loading the dirt. Dumping it over here by the fence line. Already 